Hey guys, I'm Xander and you're watching the Media Hub Spotlight where we take an enhanced look at improving our digital skills and more. Today we're shining the spotlight on Adobe's application Spark and how to leverage Spark for all of our Instagram needs. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Media Hub Spotlight. Hey guys, welcome to uh, the Media Hub Spotlight and today we are spotlighting, spotlighting Spark and um, Enid, one of our very own, is going to help us out with that. Enid, tell us about who you are. My name is Enid Bozik. I am uh, originally from New York City and I moved here about two years ago with my husband and my six-year-old son. Um, we love it here, especially the beach. I am actually in the marketing department here at the university, um, and I teach two courses, digital advocacy and knowledge management slash data interpretation. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Um, <laughs> and um, But I, spe I specialize in social media and using all the tools that are out there to make Vanguard University um, found by everyone that's out there. And um, one of the things that I really love cooking is Korean food. So I usually make bulgogi for my husband and, um, and tteokbokki for me. So that's it in a nutshell. That's awesome. Enid, are you Korean? Oh yeah, I'm half Korean. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's awesome yeah super cool well tell us well thank you so much for being on the show and, and uh and sharing your your talents and your creativity with us and obviously we're spotlighting something today can you tell us more about what we're spotlighting yes we are spotlighting one of my favorite programs from adobe um creative suite and that's called adobe spark and so I'm going to demo that for you today. We're going to first start on the desktop and then I'll let you know that it's also available as an app on your phone. Awesome. Well, Amy, the floor is yours. Take it away. All right. Well, let's get to it. So I've already logged in, as you can see on my screen, and this is the home page when you log into Adobe Spark. Um, you can add any brand. So if you're working with a client um, or a company and you need to upload any of their brand logos or brand coloring, this is where you start. So you go here and you click on this and I'll take you through, it's a little slow. And as you can see right here, you can upload your logo, then you can pick your colors, and you can also choose your font and upload the font that you have that may not necessarily be part of the Adobe Suite Library. So that's a great thing that you can do. Um, so as you can see, I've already uploaded Vanguard's brand. And just so you have an idea of what that looks like. So we have our logo here. We did this um, every child campaign. That's why those logos are there. And so our flame logo is in there. These are our brand colors that I've already uploaded. These are our fonts that um, we tend to work with. And so um, what's great about Adobe Spark is then they'll take your brand colors and your logo and they'll make suggestions and templates for you to go ahead and use automatically. So right here, um, they've created like an IG story graphic where they have someone on a skateboard. And then if it was like something that I was selling, where I don't sell skateboards, but maybe someday, <laughs> um, that's, I would just click on and put all the information in there. Um, so they give you another example of like, if you're doing a quote for a company, they'll take your quote, thank you. They'll take your quote and they will, um, you, can, you can put your slogan or your quote in there and it has your logo and it's very, very easy to use. Um, you can also change the look and feel of your projects. That's all down below. Just gives you a lot of different examples in case you don't even know where to start. Um, so that's what's really great to have. Now, when you are trying to create something new, the first thing you do is you just click on this um, plus box or plus um, symbol. <laughs> And there'll be a drop down and you can create anything from flyers, Instagram, stories, posts, Facebook, post, a collage, a web page, video, um, any kind of branded graphic um, or anything that's custom sized. So if you're working on a, a, a video, let's say like a short video or even an Instagram reel or a TikTok, 
um, you can customize the size of your graphic to fit whatever, um, pr uh, whatever parameters that you need. And um, it's really easy to do. So today we're just going to do like a quick Instagram story. And over here, um, you can either search um, the templates that they currently have, um, or you can design something from scratch. Um, and there's also colors, background resize. We'll get into all those in just a second. So let's say I'm going to scroll through here and I think, oh, you know what? I really like this. So I'm going to take this template and then I'm going to change it so that it's more um, Vanguard. I'm going to make it very simple. So you click on it, press on create. There's just a little bit of a lag. Okay, so now um, it's on my screen and I can do anything that I want with this. So if I click on a space, so I can change the background image here, 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 and here. Oftentimes when I'm looking for templates, I look for um, designs or photos that are similar to what we already use. But if I can't, then I'll change the whole thing. So um, in this example, you can, um, so if I don't like the colors, so I can take this and I can make it gray and I can make this gray and I can make this gray and maybe leave one that's not gray. Um, then I can go in here and I can change any of the verbiage. So you just double click and just say, um, join us uh, for a beach on fire. Okay, and done. And I don't like this, so I'm just gonna highlight it and delete it. So it's gonna be gone. This umbrella, I can either keep this icon or I can change it to something else. So um, I think I'm going to delete it because I don't think I really like it. And instead, I'm going to add, so you click on the plus sign and I'm going to add my logo. And I'm going to add my V100. So I'm going to take my logo, I'm going to pop it in here. I'm gonna decrease it in size because I think it's way too big. And then I'm going to move this back up, but guess what? I don't really like the font um, style. So I, I'm going to change that. So you just go over here to the right side, you do a um, drop down, and either I can add a font if I wanted to, but in this case, I'm just gonna go through and find something that is going to work for this picture. Um, and I am going to go with one of my favorite ones. I'll go with this one. Okay. And I'm going to put it a little closer to the logo just to kind of um, have it diff some differenti differentiation and space between what I'm doing and the swipe up underneath. Now, just so you know, when you do an Instagram story, in order to have the swipe up feature work for you, you either have to have like a, a business account that sells items or if you're like us, a nonprofit organization or a personal account, you will need to reach at least 10,000 followers before you can access that swipe up button. That's just a, a tip on the side. Um, so I'm gonna leave that there, except I don't like the, the um, font style of swipe up. So again, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna change it to Futura just to like make it basic. And then I'm gonna make sure that it's centered with the rest of the, um, the content that's there. And, and I think that's it. So this is a basic, um, a basic editing of a template uh, that you can do when you're in Adobe Spark. And then the next step that you'll need to do is you can either animate it. So um, I'll go in here and you can just 
either do a text animation where it comes up as a typewriting thing, um, or I want to do maybe something more dynamic. So there's that. Um, there's what's called flicker. I'll just flick around. <laughs> um, or if I want the pictures to change or the, the font to change to slide in, it can do that as well. Sorry, if I want the pictures to change, there's um, zoom. So like my pictures could zoom in. If I want it to go the opposite direction, I just click on it again or on the side. Sorry, I usually do this on my phone. So, <laughs> um, so if I click it again, it goes the opposite direction. If I wanna go from all gray to color, there you have it. So there's some different tools that you can use um, that's available. Now, let's say I don't want this on Instagram story. I've changed my mind. I want to make it a post instead. So you simply click on resize and click on Instagram post and it'll automatically change it so that it'll go to um, your post instead. But I'm looking at the post and I'm thinking, you know what, this is too small because I know um, when you're scrolling through Instagram, you don't want your lettering to be tiny because it'll be difficult to see. So I'm just gonna, um, let's see here, Let me undo and, oops, sorry. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. You can move any of the photos around. <laughs> There's so many things that you can do in here, you guys. Um, it's, it's amazing. Um, usually on my phone, I can um, group everything together. So I'm just trying to figure out how I can group everything. Let me see. No, that's not it. Um, let me get out of here. Let me see if I can group this thing. I don't know if I can. Um, so we'll skip that. Anyways, on the phone, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can group this entire box with the lettering. And then once you drag it out, everything will expand in size. So it's not just me expanding the box, the entire thing will expand. So um, I know it's in here, I just can't figure out where it is, but, um, <laughs> but it is available. And um, let's see, what else? Uh, resize background. So let's say I no longer want this background and I wanna change it to this background. So there you go, boom, it's already changed. And then I decided I don't want this picture anymore. So you can actually replace it by clicking on replace. And there's actually a plethora of free photos. Um, I think they link it to both Pixel and Unsplash, I think is what they, they use. And um, it says beach here. I would probably put the same thing. And I've decided I'm just going to put this in, in that spot instead. I'm going to kind of move it up a little so it's showing a little bit more of the um, boat there. And then that looks good for me. So that's what I'm going to keep. Um, you'll notice that my, my color has changed. So I'm going to revert it back to um, our color palette. <laughs> And my swipe up has changed. So I'm gonna also revert that to white. All right. Um, and then I decided I don't want this to be gray anymore. So I'm going to make it like a lighted or actually make it a matted color. Um, and then the sky, I think I'm going to contrast it so that it kind of um, offsets with the other photo. And then lastly, I, I'm going to change this photo and make it more contrasty. But so those are the things that you can do. Again, you can change any photo. Again, replace. Um, ice cream cone. <laughs> because I love ice cream. Um, so there you go. It's, uh, again, your creativity, you can do anything that you're thinking of doing. You just simply have to click on any part of the, the design 
and change any element of it. Um, they do have some new features that I, I don't see on here. Um, I wonder if they have it is no, I don't have that feature on the phone. But when you go on your phone and you use it, because that's what's great about Adobe Spark, once you download it onto your phone, you can use it interchangeably with the desktop and your phone. So any creations that you make at any graphic designs that you do on your phone, if you log in on your desktop, you're going to see it there and vice versa. And um, the things that you need to know is that you can't add any of your brand logos or colors when you are on your phone, but you can when you're on your desktop. And, um, but when you are on your phone, you have more flexibility of making your designs such as um, there's something that's new that um, Adobe Spark rolled out and that's stickers. So, you know, when you go to Instagram stories and then you add a story and then you can do a search of all the different jiffies they have available. Well, those same jiffies are now available through your phone in Adobe Spark. So you can, um, uh, you can put in like flashes of stars or um, like, you know, happy Thanksgiving that's kind of flashing, like any kind of jiffy that's out there that would work with your graphic, you can add. And, uh, and a lot of people are, are, are tending to do that. Um, you can add that in, um, let's say you're doing a reel and you want to do like a title um, uh, slide of your reel or TikTok you can create that in Adobe Spark, add your stickers, and then you can download it, you share it. So um, you press on share, uh, you press on download. <laughs> so I wanna, I wanna save this. You can either save it as a video because I've made it animated, or you can save it as a PNG, JPEG. And um, most recently they added the PDF version. Um, and then once you click, I'm gonna make sure it's a video and I start my download. So it's gonna export down into the desktop and then I can share it if I am, you know, if I'm gonna post from my desktop, I can share it or I can um, send it to someone to their phone or their laptop. If I have my Bluetooth on, there's just different ways that you can go ahead and share that. So as I said, I normally do everything on my phone so once I download my graphic or video that I've created onto my phone, I just post from my phone. Um, I think that's about it. But again, everything you need, it's so super easy to use. And the beauty is you can actually, um, you can have folders and you can organize all the different things that you've created like by season, like fall, summer, spring. Um, and then you can always go back and reuse something that you have, or you can always go into templates and you can just scroll through and find what you're looking for. Um, I believe they have things like info, like infographic, let's see. So there's all these different infographics that you can select. This is kind of a fun one. Um, so if you're doing those fun IG stories and you wanna get some engagement, you know, there you go. I mean. You can just do something like this. You press create and you can change anything that's on here. Um, so yeah, I would say um, the best thing to do to get using Adobe Spark is to just get in there and start fiddling around with it and using it. And um, I love it so much. I actually love it more than Canva. I know Canva is kind of a competitor, but um, I, I tend to use Adobe Creative Suite a lot for all the things that I work on. So it's just easier for me to work in Spark and switch it over and have something transferred over into Adobe Rush. Let's say I'm doing a, a quick video um, or I want to put it into Photoshop and I want to change something. I want to add a font style that I want to create. So there's different ways that you can take the same graphic and reuse it and make it evergreen again and again and again. So that's it in a nutshell. <laughs> I love that, especially there's one part that you had mentioned and, and, and you had said Bluetooth and then I automatically thought, and this was when you were downloading and finishing sort of the template you created, uh, um, AirPlay. AirPlay is so- AirPlay, yes, AirPlay. So beneficial. Uh, like I know when I'm using Spark on my desktop and I need to get it to my phone, I just, 
Oh, I'm sorry, not airplane, airdrop. Oh airdrop. I know the no, here, here's the thing. The names keep changing. It went from Bluetooth, Airplay to Airdrop. Yeah. So <laughs> it's all good. Airplay is what I do to cast to my TV. You're right. Yes. The names just keep changing. But but yeah. airdrop, airdrop, airdrop. It's so yes. useful. Amy, yes. Thank you so much for this demo. Um absolutely. Do you want me to stop sharing my screen? Sure, sure. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. great. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much for this demo and for, for our Vanguard students and uh, watching. Um, uh, we, they all get a communication major at Vanguard students. You all, uh, um, you all get Adobe Creative Cloud, right? As for, as part of being a part of the the major. Uh, so utilize it, utilize it, utilize it. If you're not a Vanguard student, thank you for watching with us. Enid, we ask all of our guests and all of our guests, our spotlight guests, uh, a last question at the end of our show, and and that today's question is. What advice would you give uh, to your younger self? Because a lot of the students watching now, you know, they're, they're thinking about jobs and, and they're trying to enhance their skills. And, and what is something that you wish you would have known? How, how, what advice would you give yourself, your younger self? Well, I think one of the things that I've struggled with um, since I was younger is having the confidence to know that I'm actually creative and following through with it, right? So when I was my younger self, I would think I'm not as creative as so-and-so. I'm not as creative as so-and-so because I would look at the work out there, the artwork, the ads, whatever it is. And I would think, oh, I don't know if I could do that. But the, the reality and the truth is if I could talk to my younger self, it's stop looking around at what other people are doing and whatever um, vision that you have, just go out there and start using the free tools that are available to get that creativity of what you're seeing and turn it into something that's real. And once you start doing that again and again and again, small tap, small steps, you'll have the confidence and start believing that, wow, I can actually do this or I'm just as good as, or I can um, create something that other people will really um, enjoy looking at. So I think it's important to really just start and really just, use use the tools don't wait for someday someday when i'm done someday when i graduate someday you know start creating now there you know i know we have we're busy with our lives um you know as a student you've got tons of projects and papers and whatnot and exams but it's really good to take the time aside even if it's for an hour if you have like some sort of social media account anything that you have, just spend a little bit of time creating something and or incorporate your creativity into the projects and the presentations that you have in your class. So that's what I would say to my younger self is just really step out there and, um, and not be intimidated and just grow your confidence with every single piece of um, tool that you use that's out there. So Tina, thank helps. you for that insight. <laughs> um, you, there's a whole lot of really good points in that piece of insight there. And, and, and immediately, that's create now. Create now. And maybe we'll have to bring you back and talk about how to manage time as a creative, because that's a huge part, oh, too. Oh, yes. Right now. But thank you. Create now. Create now. Um, and thank you so much, Enid, for uh, joining us here at the Media Hub Spotlight. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Well, hey guys, thanks for joining us here at the Media Hub Spotlight, and thank you again to Enid. Um, join us again for our next episode, and just remember, if you stop learning, you stop growing, so keep learning. Peace. <laughs>